It has been an eventful year for cyclones and for them defying predictions. Cook did somewhat less damage than predicted, Debbie did a lot more and Donna is doing what? It's hard to say. The areas of Vanuatu that it hit are now cut off although it changed its path away from initial projections that it would pass over the most populated areas of the country. It also confounded predictions about its strength growing to Category 5 when forecasters have predicted 3. It is now the strongest cyclone ever measured in the South Pacific in May. Lachlan Forsyth is in Port Vila with UNICEF. He told me by Skype video the rain there is torrential but the winds are mercifully calm. And as for the areas the cyclone has passed over? So um, Donna's been bouncing around over the weekend um, throughout some of these very remote and, and very hard to communicate with islands. And so part of the issue is, is trying to find out just what the need may be. Now, we, we basically take our lead from the Vanuatu government. Um, we understand there has been some uh, infrastructure and buildings either damaged or destroyed. Um, we're talking about things like um, uh, some homes have been destroyed, uh, water and sanitation systems, even people's gardens have been destroyed. So, of course, they all create issues in terms of what do you drink, what do you eat, where do you shelter for the next few weeks. So it's getting that information in um, before we actually know what sort of response may be needed. Have you any idea where it's going? Because the north was relatively spared by Pam. Is it heading back towards Pam country? John, I'm just going to put my phone by my ear so I can hear your question one more time. Try that I, again. I, I, well, Lockie, is that how hard the rain is? Because we can't really, we can't really see it, but is, is the rain so torrential you can't even hear me? Well, look, it's, it's pretty heavy from a, a, a Wellington point of view, maybe, but it's, it's not helped by the fact I'm under a corrugated iron. So it's kind of a problem of my own making. <laughs> OK, so, Lockie, where is Donna heading? Is it going to head now towards the parts of Vanuatu that were so devastated by Pam? Well, our, our latest information, <coughs> excuse me, is that she's now starting to head south, which hopefully means that she's going to miss Vanuatu. It's now tracking more towards New Caledonia. Now, the problem with a tropical cyclone is you just don't know where it's oh. going to go. Someone described it as like spinning a coin on a tabletop. It'll go where it wants to. The indications are it's going to keep going straight down, uh, keep going straight south, which, you know, fingers crossed, she does, because the last thing you'd want is now for this Category 5 tropical cyclone to, to head towards land and head towards those really populated areas. Look on Forsyth, who's up in Vanuatu, Port Vila, for UNICEF. We're looking at where Donna is heading now, and we will update you if there are any reports from. Uh, areas that the cyclone has hit hard.